useful information. 50% of people have an itis, inflammatory. 50% of people have an osis, like fibrosis or sclerosis or whatever. I'm exactly, yeah, it's not really 50-50, but you tend to die from one or the other. Vitamin C deals with itises. If you've got an itis, arthritis, any type of itis, mm. vitamin C for inflammation is one of the big ones. Though there are others, but vitamin C does so much. I mean, if magnesium is the ultimate mineral, vitamin C is the ultimate vitamin. Vitamin C deteriorates in food the moment you've picked it. So let's say you've got a red pepper, which has loads of vitamin C. By the time it's reached you in your kitchen, it's probably two, three, seven, who knows how many days old it is. And it will have lost a large percentage of its vitamin C. So because we're not growing our own food and it's not dead fresh, most of us are low on vitamin C. Now, vitamin C neutralizes chlorine. So if you, are, you run a bath, it's chlorinated, yeah. smell. Yeah, you can smell it. Right? Before you run the bath, put in a teaspoonful of vitamin C into the bath, then run the bath, and it neutralizes the smell, only a tiny bit of vitamin C, and people report back that not only does it stop the smell because it's neutralized the chlorine, but it makes their skin better as well. Vitamin C is ludicrously incredible. It's part of the how do you stop a heart attack, it, or prevent one. It's the answer to almost everything.